Lab. Now, that's scientific sort of teaching us about cells, and even making one, you can make it home. Ooh. Now, the Ziploc bag is going to be what we call the membrane or the outside of the cell. One question. Yes, sir. What's that? This is a model of the cell. Here you go. Hang on to that, okay? Okay. Ah! <laughs> well, there you go. That's going to show what we're going to build right here. Here, ah. let's let the boys hold that for us, okay? Right is there. Go right. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so the outside is the membrane of the cell. All right, and then we need what's called cytoplasm. So take the jello and just pour all the jello into it, all right? Okay? Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, just pour that right in there, okay? This is kind of like, kind of like the, 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 the stuff that all the parts of the cell is gonna float in to keep it, well, secure and safe. Kind of like if you put uh, gelatin around to make sure they're safe. Okay, and we also need to put we need to add some water to it, so we'll pour some the water in there. Like, yeah. Okay. Whoa, that was so an instant reaction. Go. So there we go. Okay. So, so that is going to be our cytoplasm. 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 All right. No, it's not. It's fine. No, no, no. It's all this blue stuff that you see around where everything else is going to be floating. Oh. Okay. Now we need a nucleus. The nucleus is going to be the center of the cell. Okay. Uh, Out of everything we've got here, what do you think might be the nucleus there? Um, let me check the thing. It's a circle. Yours. Absolutely, that's going to be it right there, okay? So, since it's a nucleus, there's only one, there's only one, so even though there's two there, drop that right in there, okay? Now, here's the thing. The nucleus is the brain of the cell, and with that, we ensure that all the functions of the cell work the way they should, all right? So we put that in there. It's an excellent model of it. Even though the cell nucleus is gonna be round, that lets us see what it's gonna be look like. Okay, okay, so here we go. Now we need what's called mitochondria. Uh, it's gonna be large and flat and long. Here, go ahead and use the flat pretzels in there. It's like that, yeah. Yeah, just dump that out and then you can find them. Okay, so there you go, the big flat ones. Now the mitochondria, that's gonna be uh, the part of the cell that makes the energy um, to, well, help, help make the cell run, okay? So yeah. that's the energy source of the cell. Now we have the brain, which is the nucleus. We have the energy source. Oh, uh, jelly beans. Do you have any jelly beans? Yes. Okay, put the jelly beans in there. That's going to be ribosomes. That's the next part of the cell. And those produce protein or uh, th things that the workers work on in the cell. They do the job. Proteins are like the workers in the cell, yeah. okay? Okay, and then one more, one more, because we got all this stuff coming in, we need a way to get stuff going back out, and we're gonna call that the lysosomes. So if you see any peanuts or corn nuts, or, yeah, use those big brown peanuts, okay? Because the lysosomes are the uh, <coughs> waste of the cell, the poop, and those peanuts ah, come out. Yeah, there you go. There I, you go. I don't wanna eat <laughs> Okay, so throw that in there, and that's basically what it does. Okay, so that's the basic parts of the cell. Okay, the only difference is, uh, one more thing, in a plant cell, there's, there, there's what we call chloroplast, okay? <laughs> okay, and the, the cell is dead. The, the cell is has not been dead. Destroyed. Okay, so we're gonna put this in there to represent cytoplast because a plant cell will produce its own food while an animal cell will get its energy from, from what it brings else. in. Woo, woo! We have some more science fun tomorrow with our Friday finale. So set those DVRs so you can try these experiments at home. You can also visit OKCMadScience.org for more STEM fun.